Avalanche is inspired by a true story. Um, it, it's a story essentially of a woman who falls back in love with her first lover. Um, they met at university, um, they get married, they try to have a family, um, things get quite complicated and she finds herself in the sort of process of um, IVF. What drew me to the role was the story. I think like any good piece of theatre or film or television, it's, it's initially about the story. What does the story want to do? What is the story that you were telling? And, and for me, I felt it was something that, you know, we very rarely um, stage or film, again, the outcome of it. And I felt it's a story that needs to be, needs to be told. The main character is really the woman. So I don't think of her as directly myself. She's a creation. Uh, but it's the immediacy of the telling and of course, making the most of the theatre and theatre magic, if you like, and trying to create something that uh, on the night will be a sort of very intense and wonderful immediate experience. We're finding the nuance of the work is actually very specific, um, exciting, but really um, quite a lot of tiny detail to make what looks like something hopefully very effortless. This, this story all comes from, from one voice and so the music can sort of help us punctuate that and help us steer through and understand um, where the story is going. My initial instinct was to do a lot less musically on this and actually in a way through collaboration I've been pushed to do something um, better. <laughs> it's about telling an entire story and having a connection and hoping that the audience obviously you know, will go with you. They'll follow you on that journey and taking them on the journey and they are part of the journey. You know, it's, it's, it's so, such an exposing piece, as state is exposing anyway, whatever you do. But Annie's created a really lovely, you know, atmosphere within there. And I think what's been great as well is we've had Margin, who's the production designer. We've got Penny and Kirsty who've been in the dramaturgs. You know, Lou, stage manager, Tim. So it's a, it feels like a real family. I think there is hope in the ending of this story, sort of despite all of the difficulty and the struggle, um, that woman is, you know, a, a hero, a heroine. She's, she's gone through that journey and she's, uh, she's endured.